everyone, welcome back. You can see I'm in my bathroom, which means that I have another routine for you today. This one is a little bit different because I actually have a little bit of skincare prep and then a little bit of makeup to go with it because I'm gonna be doing the clean look. This has nothing to do with clean beauty. This is actually a look that is going around that's like viral and trending right now on TikTok, which of course it is. But this actually happens to be my go-to look as like a millennial mom. This is essentially how I get ready in the morning when I want to look like I'm pulled together, but really I just don't have a lot of time. So really, this is my interpretation of the clean look. Before I get started, this video does include a partnership with Pharmacy. This is their Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I'm going to talk about this in just a little bit. All right, so I just want to throw out there. I worked really hard to smooth my hair back already. I usually do my hair after I do my makeup, but I don't wanna make this like a really long video. So I'm gonna be kind of working around my hair when it comes to my skincare routine. All right, so it's morning time and I have already splashed my face with some water and then I just kind of patted it dry. I wanna make sure it stays hydrated. So I'm gonna go in with this from my brand. It's the Notarium Alpha Arbutin Essence 1%. This is one of my favorite essences ever and I haven't talked about it in a long time. It's just really gentle and super hydrating. It feels really plush on your skin as you put it on, but it's also just easy to layer. This is how I think I want to prep my skin for this makeup look, just because I don't want my skin to be too greasy. I want that perfect dewiness. And I know that it's working to help even out my skin tone also as it's hydrating. Next up, I think this is one of the most important steps in this look, and that is to moisturize your skin. This is from Pharmacy. This is the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. If you haven't heard me talk about this, I really love this moisturizer. And the reason for that is because you can see it has this really creamy kind of look to it, but when you put it onto your skin, it just melts down like butter. It is so nice. It helps to replenish your skin because it does have ceramides, but it also has other nourishing and hydrating ingredients like buckwheat honey, which is the reason why it's called Honey Halo. It also has propolis in it, which is very nourishing for your skin and also comes from the honeybees as well. See how that just goes onto my skin? I just love the feeling of it. You can see it's really nice and creamy, which is what I like about it. It is so nice for your skin, for any skin type really, because it's so light when it goes on in texture. It has ceramides in it, so it replenishes all those lipids that you need for your skin to stay moisturized. I just love that finish. It's nice and dewy. It looks radiant, but it doesn't feel really greasy. So again, it's a beautiful moisturizer, especially under makeup. And as always, I have a discount code with Pharmacy. It is Mix Makeup 22. I'll leave that in the description box below along with a link to shop it. Next up, I have to put sunscreen. And I'm gonna go in with this one from Supergoop. This is their every single face, like dot. So it's like every dot, single dot face. Watery Lotion SPF 50 PA++++++. That's four pluses. The reason why I really want to use it for this video though is because the sheen that it gives to your skin. I feel like that luminous look and luminous skin is really a big part of this clean look. So I love the finish of this. It's almost like a moisturizer, but it's a little bit lighter than that. So see, it has that really pretty kind of texture to it. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to actually put it just on one side of my face first so you guys can see. So look at that sheen. It just looks so pretty. It gives you a really, really nice glow to your skin and that's what I like about it. And I really specifically like it for this look. Does it look clean? I hope so. I hope it looks very clean. This whole clean look, so apparently it started on TikTok. There was this video where a girl pulled her hair back and she did her makeup look and somebody was like, you look really clean. That was like one of her comments. Like you look like you're so nice and clean. And then everyone started to kind of replicate it. All right, so that is the finish of that sunscreen. It is so pretty. See that? You just wanna have lots of glow. So I'm going for glow, glow, glow. Glow on top of glow on top of glow. Okay, so my sunscreen has dried down. You can see that finish is really nice and dewy and pretty. You know, we're on to the part where it's makeup, but it's like makeup meets skincare. It's like where makeup and skincare intersects. I think a big part of this look is having that flawless looking skin, but your skin actually shines through and it doesn't look like you have caked on makeup. 
The foundation I'm gonna use is from Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre Skin Caring Glow. I have no idea what shade I am, but I have been loving this foundation. It's another one of those skin tints. They have a matte version of this as well. But for this look specifically, I think this is the one to go with. It gives a beautiful glow to your skin. It's very hydrating. Let me show you the texture. It's a really pretty color as well. Like you see all that redness and that discoloration on my skin. Just kind of like put it on, it's so nice. I'm actually gonna use my fingers first, let me show you. A little goes a long way. So see how that just immediately makes me look pretty flawless and very dewy. So you can see my skin still shines through. You can see the difference. I have it on on this side, but not on this side. It's just really radiant kind of evens out my complexion a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go in with this side. And then I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender really quick and just blend it in. Mm. See, what a huge difference, right? My skin already looks like it's so much better. Okay, so I actually really like how my skin looks, but Again, I feel like that flawless looking skin is a big deal for this look. So if you're actually going for that really quick, clean makeup look, then you would actually just stop here. But I want to hide, you know, some of that discoloration still. So I'm gonna actually go in with a concealer. This is from NYX. This is the Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I've really been loving this. It's one of the first times that a drugstore concealer has actually convinced me to maybe cheat on my NARS a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. I really like it. I'm gonna put it right here to brighten the inner eye area, and then a little bit over here off the side. See how that just really kind of finishes that look? Again, I don't wanna look cakey, so that's the other reason why I'm using this concealer. I just want it to look like I'm radiant and glowy, and I just happen to have near perfect skin. So you can see I have my concealer on. This is kind of what it looks like up close. Again, it's really glowy and natural looking. That's one of the reasons why I like this. Now I'm gonna do something that I wouldn't normally do before I go in with my blush and all of that stuff, especially because I like to use cream blushes, but I am gonna go ahead and set this because I just want it to stay really radiant and pretty. This is from NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Translucent Crystal. I love this stuff when I really wanna brighten my under eye area. So that's really where I'm gonna do the majority of the setting right now. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and then I'm just gonna make sure that I set under my eyes so that I don't get the creasing that I would normally get because again, I'm trying to go for a very specific look and I might set with more powder for the rest of my face later, but right now I'm just gonna go with my under eye area. And you can see how brightening that is too. That's why I like this powder. So I'll do more setting in just a bit. All right, so I wanna keep with that radiance theme with my skin. I powdered down here, you know, but I'm going to kind of bring it all back. I still have like that dewy, shiny look on most of my face. So I'm gonna take this, it's from Rimmel. It's the Radiance Brick, and this is in uh, the light shade 001. This, you know, Nikki, my makeup artist, turned me on to this because she was like, I think it's a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Light. And she's right, but this one's a little bit more bronzy, just like a touch. So I'm gonna swirl it with my brush. And then I'm just going to just kind of dab it in areas where I want to look like I have a filtered look, because I think that's a big part of this look as well. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this, swirl it around, and just kind of give a little definition to my eyelid. I just need a little bit of definition there. So I'm gonna do it with this. You don't need a lot, because the look is, you don't really have makeup on, even though you have lots of makeup on. Is it the millennial mom look, or is it the actual clean girl look? I'm gonna argue it's the mom look. 
All right, so the base of my makeup is set. I'm gonna go in with my brows because I feel like that's a big part of this look is having nice, clean, feathery brows. Not like necessarily the boy brows, but just nice, clean brows is this look, clean. So I'm gonna go in with these from Make Beauty. This is the Make Blade line. This is a pencil. And then this is the Sculpting Brow Gel in Clear. I'm actually gonna start with the pencil first. It has, you know, this really nice kind of tip to it. I usually like more of a real pencil, but really tiny. And this is the best of both worlds because you get like a blade instead. So I'm gonna go in with that. So I take the spoolie in and I'm just gonna brush down first. That's really hot. I'm gonna take this. It's really hard to do this into a phone camera. So I'm gonna try to do it. I'm looking into the camera, but then also off into the mirror. Might have to finish it. I might have to do this off camera, but you guys get the idea. I'm trying to fill in the sparse areas. And then sometimes I brush it back up and I just make sure I fill in at the bottom as well, if I need it. It's really just finding those spots where you might need it. Okay, good. Gonna do this side. Okay, I think they look even even enough. I'm not gonna mess with them too much because sometimes I go too dark and that's just because it's like eyeliner. You just kind of keep adding more and more and then it turns into a big deal. So now I'm gonna go in with the Sculpting Brow Gel in Clear from Make Beauty as well. And I don't really wanna get those big bushy brows. I'm just going for sleek brows, groomed brows. There we go. Okay, so my brows are done. Next up, I'm going in with this cheek slime from Freck Beauty. This is the shade Cuffed. I like to put these liquid blushes onto the back of my hand first. It's a trick I learned from Nikki, my makeup artist, and I just kind of spread it out. People are like, oh, you're wasting so much product, but it's not true. This lasts you forever. It just makes it look more even on your skin. You want to have more control. That's what this gives you. And I'm obviously dabbing it on instead of wiping away that work because that was a big part of it. The complexion is the biggest piece, really, of this entire look. So you wanna just make sure you don't wipe away that work. A little bit like that. Am I looking clean to you guys? <laughs> All right, so this look is coming together. I have to go in with mascara. That's a big part of this look. This is from YSL. This is their Lash Clash Mascara, which is so good, it's becoming one of my favorites. I love this so much. All right, we're not trying to go for super clumpy, though I can go for that too. <laughs> you wanna just make sure you have some very nice wispy lashes to look long and stand out. Hard to do mascara really pretty on camera. <laughs> Can't help but make some faces. Lashes are done, time for the lips. I have two products. I always wear lip liner because I like to give a little bit of shape to my lips. This is from Gucci, this is the color Nude. I'm just gonna do a light little line to make sure I have shape. Okay, so I don't want like a really dark line because it's not part of the look. Then I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from YSL. This is their Rouge Volupte, Volup Shine, Volupte Shine, Rouge Volupte Shine. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Oh, you can see, look, this is the sign of a lipstick that somebody uses. But this is the shade I'm gonna use. It's kind of like a nude pinky color. This is the look. What do we think? It's that sleek ponytail. It's, you know, just radiant skin, a little bit of blush, some lashes, some brows, a light natural kind of lip. You know, in her video, I'll put it right here next to me. In her video, she's got more like pink kind of tones going on, but you know, we have different undertones and I'm like the brunette version doing this, you know, like I'm the, I'm doing the brunette version of this. So what do we think? Do we think I pulled it off? Did I get the clean look down? The no makeup makeup look in reality? The millennial mom looking pulled together look? 
You tell me, but I am going to head into the office now. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara. I'll talk to you soon.